Is waiting nine months for a software update really worth it? If you own a Galaxy S24, you might soon get some exciting Galaxy S25 AI features with One UI 7. But is that enough to justify such a long wait? Let's break it down. One UI 7 isn't here yet, and if the leaks are true, we might not see the official release until May 2025. That's a long time considering Android 15 launched in August 2024. But the good news is that Samsung might not keep all the new AI features exclusive to the Galaxy S25 series. Some of them could be coming to the Galaxy S24 lineup, making the wait a little more bearable. According to insider Tarun Vats, the Galaxy S24 could get three major AI features, audio eraser, best face, and log video recording. This is brave because it shows Samsung isn't limiting its latest AI tools to just the newest models. But what exactly do these features do and how useful are they? The most exciting one is audio eraser. This tool is designed to clean up audio in your videos by isolating or enhancing specific sounds. Imagine recording a video in a noisy environment and later being able to remove background traffic sounds, wind noise, or random chatter. On the other hand, if someone's voice is too low, you can boost it to make it clearer. The feature categorizes sounds into different types like crowd noise, music, nature sounds, wind, and voices, allowing you to adjust each separately. Apple has a similar feature called Audio Mix, but Samsung's version isn't quite as advanced yet. Still, it's a powerful tool that could make smartphone video editing much easier. Another feature, Best Face, lets you swap out a subject's face in a photo for a better one taken from a series of shots. This can be useful when someone blinks, looks away, or just doesn't have their best expression in a group picture. Google's Pixel phones already have something similar called Best Take, so it's interesting to see Samsung bring its own version. Then there's Log Video Recording, which is aimed more at professional users. It gives better control over color grading and post-production editing. However, this feature might only come to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, leaving out the standard S24 and S24 Plus. Now, when will One UI 7 actually arrive? Samsung seems to be rolling out six beta versions before the final update is released. Right now, we're on beta 3, and the expected timeline looks like this. Beta 4 should drop in February, followed by beta 5 in March, then beta 6 in April. If things go as planned, the stable version of One UI 7 will be released in May 2025. That's a long wait, and it doesn't reflect well on Samsung, considering that Android 15 will be nearly a year old by then. While the company is known for providing long-term software support, the slow rollout makes it difficult for users who want the latest features without the frustration of waiting months after other brands have already updated their devices. Apart from the AI tools, One UI 7 is expected to bring a fresh design, better customization options, and an overall smoother experience. Samsung is focusing on making its software more polished and user-friendly. Customization and personalization, which are already strong points of One UI, are being expanded even further. While these improvements sound great, the real question is whether they're worth waiting almost a year for. So what do you think? Are these Galaxy S25 features coming to the Galaxy S24 series enough to justify the long wait for One UI 7, or should Samsung speed up its update process? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest in tech. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Did you think Apple would completely shift to a pixel-inspired design for the iPhone 17? Well, that might not be the case. While several reports have suggested that Apple is taking inspiration from Google's Pixel 9, new information hints that not all models will follow that design language. And for those who aren't thrilled about the change, this could be good news. According to industry insider John Proster, the base iPhone 17 model actually keep the same design as the iPhone 16. That means no drastic redesign, no horizontal camera bump like the rumored iPhone 17 Air, and no major shift in aesthetics. Instead, Apple is sticking to a look that many users already know and like. For those who prefer the classic iPhone design over a pixel-like one, this is a welcome decision. But before we get into why Apple might be making this move, Let's talk about the iPhone 17 Air. Prosser recently shared renders of the device, and if they're accurate, it's going to look quite different from previous iPhones. The Air is expected to have a horizontal camera bump stretching across the back, something that's very similar to what Google has done with its Pixel series. While this design might appeal to some, many Apple users feel that it lacks originality. The Pro models, on the other hand, are expected to retain their iconic triple camera setup. Prosser mentioned that the iPhone 17 Pro will still feature the three camera layout, but the camera bump might be slightly larger. This suggests that Apple is focusing on camera advancements, which isn't surprising given how important smartphone photography has become. Now, here's someone who prefers the more traditional iPhone look, 
the base iPhone 17 could be your best option. But choosing the base model does come with some compromises. Since it won't have the same redesign as the Air or the Pro models, it's also likely that it won't feature the latest camera improvements or performance upgrades. However, let's be honest, smartphone cameras and processors have reached such an advanced level that the differences between models aren't always that noticeable in everyday use. A slightly better camera or a marginally faster processor doesn't always justify the higher price tag for many users. In fact, we're already seeing a trend where more Apple users are prioritizing cost over top tier specs. Some people are even considering the iPhone Southeast 4 instead of upgrading to the iPhone 16, despite the Southeast 4 having only a single camera. That tells us one thing, price matters now more than ever. Consumers are being more cautious about spending, and many are willing to stick with a slightly older design if it means saving money. So, could the base iPhone 17 actually turn out to be one of the most popular models? It's very possible. While tech enthusiasts might chase after the latest and greatest features, the average buyer is often looking for something that balances performance, price, and familiarity. If Apple keeps the price of the base model reasonable while maintaining solid performance, it could attract a lot of customers who aren't sold on the new design direction of the higher-end models. What's interesting here is Apple's strategy. By offering multiple design choices within the same lineup, they're catering to different types of users. If you want the newest and most premium design, you can go for the iPhone 17 Air or the Pro models. But if you prefer something more familiar and reliable, the base iPhone 17 is there for you. Is Apple finally making a bold move with its iPhone design? The iPhone 17 Pro is still months away, but leaks are already painting a picture of what could be one of the most surprising changes in years. While previous rumors suggested a horizontal camera setup similar to Google's Pixel phones, new renders show something completely different, a wider camera bar that still keeps Apple's signature triangular lens arrangement. According to these new leaks, the iPhone 17 Pro will feature a redesigned camera module placed inside a rectangular camera bar with rounded corners. Unlike past models where the cameras were grouped tightly in a square bump, this new design stretches across the back of the phone. The three camera lenses are positioned on the left side, while the right side contains an LED flash, a rear microphone, and a LiDAR scanner stacked vertically. So why would Apple make this change? It may not just be about aesthetics. Reports suggest that this design choice could be linked to the dynamic island hardware on the front of the phone. Apple might have adjusted the camera placement to avoid interference with the sensors that power face ID and front facing features. If that's the case, this could be more of a functional decision rather than a purely visual one. But what does this mean for the iPhone's overall look? If these renders are accurate, Apple is moving toward a more symmetrical and balanced design. A wider camera bar could help distribute weight more evenly, reducing the wobble effect when placing the phone on a flat surface. However, this shift also raises questions about how it will impact cases and accessories. Would Apple need to redesign MagSafe accessories to accommodate this new shape? If Apple follows through with this, the iPhone 17 Pro could end up looking more like Google's Pixel 9 and Pixel 9 Pro, which also feature a camera bar. However, there's a key difference. While Google arranges its lenses in a straight line, Apple appears to be sticking with its familiar triangular layout. This means the iPhone will still have a distinct look, even as it adopts a more modern design. Now, there's always the possibility that these renders aren't final. Apple is known to test multiple prototypes before settling on a design, and early leaks don't always tell the full story. But the fact that we're seeing consistent rumors about a new camera layout suggests that something big is coming. So should Apple go through with this design? Some people love the idea of a camera bar because it gives the phone a more futuristic look, while others prefer the classic camera bump Apple has used for years. It all comes down to personal preference. A camera bar could make the iPhone stand out, but it could also feel like Apple is following in Google's footsteps rather than leading the way with something truly original. We'll likely get more leaks in the coming months, especially when third-party case manufacturers start preparing for the iPhone 17 lineup. Those accessory leaks usually provide the best clues about Apple's final design choices. But for now, what do you think? Would you be excited about this new look, or do you think Apple should stick to its traditional camera bump? Let us know in the comments, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.